With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the students, in this question, we have to tell out of these four options which is true, okay? So see, in the option 1, we have, it is said that fx is continuous at x is equal to c, okay? And gx is discontinuous at x is equal to c, okay? And we need, and they are saying that f g x must be discontinuous, must be, okay? And second option saying, if f of x is continuous at x is equal to c and g of x is discontinuous at x is equal to c, okay? Then f of f g x may be, may be continuous, okay? So see, there is a must condition and there is a maybe condition in this question, okay, student? So see, I can say this option will be correct, okay? See why? Let me give you an example of this, okay? Let's see, let's take f of x to be x, okay? So see, it is continuous everywhere, okay? And let's take another function, g of x, okay? Which is a function as, say, sine pi by x, okay? When x is not equal to 0, okay? And it is 0 when x is equal to 0. Okay, so, so see, uh, this f of x, okay, is continuous at x is equal to 0. Okay, so I am uh, representing my first line. Okay, this is saying that, okay, and g of x, see, is this continuous at x is equal to 0. See, if we take my right hand limit and right hand limit if my if i see my zero from right hand side okay and right hand side and left hand side value see this will give me if i approaching from right hand side okay so this will give me a positive value okay positive something okay as and when it is approaching from left hand side, this will give me a negative value, okay? So it means my g of o from right hand side is not equal to g of o from left hand side, okay? So it means my function g of x is discontinuous at x is equal to 0, okay? So I am fulfilling these two conditions of these two options, okay? Now see what will be f of g, okay, of this function, okay? So see, if I have to write my fg of x for this function see it will be x times sine of pi by x okay and 0 okay 0 into x will be 0 okay I can also say x okay so this is my f dot g x okay when x is oh, wait a minute in these two domains okay now see if I have to see if, if, if I have to check the continuity of this function at 0 see this function f of g if I take its uh, value at 0 from approaching from left hand side this will be approaching towards 0 this will be approaching towards 0 ok but see this will be equal to f of g of okay 0 approaching from right hand side okay so these two are equal as the value of this function is 0 when approaching from left hand side and right hand side okay so see this function is continuous at x is equal to 0 this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 okay but the product of them okay which represent a function f dot g is continuous at this function okay so this saying that this can never happen okay but i just show you this can happen okay so this option will be correct okay that my f dot g of x may be continuous at this function okay now let's see the other two options okay in this we are given that see this 
both function are discontinuous at x is equal to c okay then the product function must one saying must be discontinuous okay and other option saying when these both are discontinuous at x is equal to c then the product function may be continuous okay may be continuous now let give me you one more scenario okay let's see my f of x is a function okay which is giving me a value say 1 when x is greater than or equal to 0 okay and it's giving me 0 when x is less than 0 okay friend now see this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 okay because when i am approaching 0 from right hand side it is it will give me 1 and if i approaching from left hand side this will give me 0 okay so this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 and let me take one more function g of x say again okay which is 0 when x is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 when x is less than 0 okay c here f of x is discontinuous okay this continuous at x is equal to 0 okay also g, this g of x g of x is this continuous at x is equal to 0 okay now let's see what will be their product function okay that will be f dot g of x okay so this will give me what c product of this 1 into 0 okay and this will be in this domain this will be 0 into 1 okay which will be equal to 0 equal to 0 okay son when x is greater than or equal to 0 and this is when x is less than 0 okay now see this function having a value 0 everywhere in its domain okay so it means this function is continuous okay this function f dot g of x is continuous okay at continuous at x is equal to 0 okay so see this saying that if two function are discontinuous okay then their product function must be discontinuous but i have proved that if two function are discontinuous okay at x as at some point here at is x is equal to 0 then their product function can be continuous at that point okay so it means this option is incorrect okay and this option is correct okay if two function are discontinuous at x is equal to c then their product function may be continuous or may be discontinuous okay it is not necessary that it will be continuous it can be discontinuous as well okay and above i have proved that if one function is continuous at some point and other function is discontinuous at some point okay so their product again can be continuous or can't be maybe not be dis, maybe discontinuous okay so these two option will be correct and these two option will be incorrect okay one and three are incorrect two and four are correct okay. for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.